from Maldives and actually I arrived here yesterday after a long journey from London I arrived in the morning at the international airport and directly I just got to this boat as you see and I am here not to explore Maldives actually this is the first time I'm doing something like that I am here with biosphere expeditions on a diving expedition scientific expedition and we are going to study the health of corals and well charged. Since we arrived yesterday we started our course because we have to do a course then we are able to study the coral. You know I didn't know that you can actually join the scientific expedition and you learn and help the scientists and actually in our group we have scientists with us and biologists and they are teaching us and actually if you are interested you can go to biosphere expeditions and they are doing it every year and you can join them but keep watching because this is just my first days and I'm learning and I'm taking you with me in this journey so this is the um, plastic form as you can see that we have um, a bright fish, butterfly fish, sweet fish, snapper um, Coral reefs are often referred to as the rainforest of the sea because they are critical for biodiversity and for providing shelter and sustenance to countless marine species. But their significance extends far beyond that. Coral reefs protect coastlines from storms by acting as a natural barrier. They provide jobs for local communities and offer opportunities for recreation. They are also a source of food and new medicines. Basically, over a half a billion people depend on coral reefs for food, income and protection. Despite all of these, coral reefs are under threat. Some of these threats are natural such as diseases, predators and storms. But some are caused by us, humans. These are pollution, overfishing and climate change. Rising or even falling water temperatures can stress coral polyps, leading to coral bleaching and possible death. But the good news is that corals are able to recover if the conditions improve. This is why monitoring and studying corals is important. Yesterday we did the dive and the dive was about uh, recognizing the different corals and deep, like rocks and other things is important for the reef check and actually when we were really concentrating focusing on corals we saw two sharks and it's so interesting because everyone was looking at the corals not the shark and suddenly the shark they came towards us and swam by and it's amazing and also now in the morning the weather is getting better the last couple of days the weather wasn't great so we didn't move and today we are moving with the boat and just now we saw a group of dolphins so now today we have more tests to do and of course diving The day is almost over and guess what? I passed all the tests, I don't know how, <laughs> but I think it was good. It was not so hard and it just, you need to use your brain because you have to recognize corals, type of fish and some other marine life. And the test was cool. I learned a lot. And we also did different dives because one of the dives you have to do the test and the test works like this. The instructor just point things and you have to know what they are. And the second dive, it was actually, we did a survey 
and it was uh, like a proper reef check but we had to practice for the first time it was a bit confusing at the beginning but we do we've done it but we are going to do more reef checks tomorrow and the day after it's another day on a boat and actually since we arrived we have to wake up very early like around 6 because we have a meeting at 6 30 every day uh, it's a bit <laughs> tiring to be honest but it's exciting now while I'm talking to you it's raining but it's warm so no problem and we are going diving so you already get wet you don't care about the rain and today we start with the lazy dive which means that we don't do any survey or reef check which is just dive and enjoy so I love that and I'm so excited. I hope that we see a lot of like marine life and sharks. Hopefully, let's see. This is part of uh, going for a, an expedition. You wake up early, you do a lot of study, learning. It's exciting and you meet really amazing people. All the people here in the group, they are very nice and amazing. As you can see, this is the boat we sleep in and live in, but that's the boat that we go diving. Residue Atoll is a well-known spot for diving. As soon as we jumped to the water, we saw a small school of eager rays. What a great way to start a dive. We saw lots of types of fish and then we saw a handful of sharks. We try our best to stay still so the shark felt comfortable swimming around us. for the next dive which I need to do the tape and measuring and it's going to be exciting because I never done that we all gather together and enter the data that we collect 
and then we have lunch and then again dive and tonight we actually have snorkeling night snorkeling snorkeling is not my favorite thing to do but I will try and during the night and also another thing is like usually I'm used to dive with Bruno and Bruno is my dive buddy but here we always change the dive buddy every day for different dives to be able to carry out the survey, we are divided into six teams of two every dive. Each team has different responsibilities. We also need to communicate with our team members. And yes, we communicate underwater by using sign language. After the first dive yesterday, when I surfaced, I felt like my legs both they were burning and i didn't realize what but as you can see there are some rashes on my <laughs> legs and to be honest i don't know what they are but they're burning after each dive we come to the main boat and we have time to rest and enter the data we collected and today as you can see the sun is out the color of the water is much nicer and the place you see Last night we went there and we were snorkeling there. And today when we were getting ready to jump to the water and actually we saw a whale shark. But when we were in the water, we didn't see it. And they are fast and if you are not fast, they go away. I couldn't capture it on a camera unfortunately. Today we have two more survey dives and evening should be a bit more relaxing and tomorrow is officially our last day on the board. During our survey we have found some reason to be hopeful. We noticed a recovery at sites that were badly affected by the last mass bleaching event in 2016. Of course the recovery is very slow but it gives us a bit of hope. There is still a lot of room for improvement not only in the Maldives but around the world. This is my face after two dives and actually we are done with all the survey and the last dive we went to the park that uh, basically most of the corals were dead and collecting the data from that side was a bit sad to see there is nothing but rock, sand and rubber but that's the point of a study to see how it is and in the few years if they improve or recover or they get worse that's that's why we do that I'm glad to be part of the research tonight is our last night here tomorrow we are going for a dive but it's going to be a fun dive and relaxing dive without any other equipment and just enjoying the ocean and since tonight is our last night we are trying to have party and to have a good time <laughs> fun dive it's a very hot day and i think i'm not wearing wetsuit and just going with swim but looking forward to we are back in Male which means that all the diving and expedition is over and I'm going to get out of the boat but I'm not going to leave Maldives so stay tuned because I'm going to an island for two nights 
I hope you enjoyed this video and as I said earlier if you want to join this kind of expedition I leave the link in the description same as always thanks for watching and see you in the next video and actually if you are interested